Yo, 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 what is up you guys? So, I have a quick tutorial for you guys right now. Um, I'll be doing other tutorials either tonight or tomorrow morning. Uh, really depends on how I finish those up. And um, right now this is just a quick tip on kind of how to make your intros or builds uh, a little bit more interesting. Um, so, uh, this is kind of like an undertone effect sort of thing. So, it's an effect, it's underneath other things, but it does really improve the part by a lot and to me so it, it makes it fills in that empty space so what it basically is is what I call a slider riser um, it's not really a riser because it's not constantly rising up in pitch but um, what we do here is we're gonna use the pitch bend on all of these silent patches or pitch bend in any sense doesn't really matter and we're just gonna take a simple tone um, we're just going to hold out a note really like we would with a riser and we're just going to pitch bend it down and then bring it back up and what that's going to do is create this kind of nice little movement and it's going to build up the anticipation to the next part so uh, let me just show you one of these uh, layers I have three layers for this but they're all from my bank um, I didn't make any new presets for this so you guys will be able to get this stuff for free off my Facebook if you get my silent bank. But for now, I'm just going to show you what this sounds like. So, obviously it sounds boring by itself, but that's the whole point of it. We don't want something to take away from anything else. We just want something as an undertone effect. So... Uh, right here we can see with the pitch bend, we start around zero, go a little bit down, almost an octave down, and then bring it a little bit higher than its starting point. Now in silent, the way to do this is you just uh, set your bend range up to 12 or 24, uh, whatever you prefer, and then we're just going to uh, automate the pitch bend parameter. So we just click on it and then in Ableton, when you click on a parameter, you will see a lane for it on that track, and then you can just uh, press Command B draw it in if you want or you know double click points and then kind of shape it the way you want so uh, basically I, I copied the same automation for all three so this is basically a, a saw wave sort of thing uh, I don't know if I mentioned the patch number in case you have my bank this is number 84 uh, on my case a bank um, obviously I use my bank a lot that's why I made it so I can use it instead of using other people's presets that I don't really like as much I'm not saying my stuff is better, it's just what I prefer, that's why I made it for myself, duh. So now the next one is like an ARP sort of thing, so that one I think is number 103 on in my bank as well, so again, you can, you, most of you might already have this. So the ARP one is probably the, the big highlight to all this, so it's the one that's mixed the loudest, it's at negative 11 dB, all the other ones are negative 28 or so, so the ARP is going to really add this kind of like it's gonna feel a little bit like a snare roll but it's you know a synth so again you don't need a fancy preset or whatever you can just build a couple of simple saw waves in the oscillators maybe add a sine wave or a pulse wave here and there and then uh, you know filter it out the way you want and then all you gotta do is add a little bit of ARP set the time to 1 over it. whoa this is a serious problem error whoa program error. Wow, this is cool. Alright, so I, I don't know what happened there, but I just started Ableton up again. I guess I had too many things running in the background. So anyway, what you want to do with the ARP <laughs> is set the time to around 1 over 8 or 1 16 if you prefer it to be that much faster. Again, we're just going to hold one note for this, not 2 or 3, like you typically would with most arpeggio type stuff. We're just going to have one note, just like a riser, and we're gonna set the gate to around 30, or at least I set mine to around 30%. So again, uh, the settings aren't, the parameters, the presets, not that important. It's kind of the modulation and automation of what's going on. So now if we listen to this, uh, this is kind of the highlight of this part. We'll just wait for it to get past the utility gain. I kind of add a gain here on the group to bring it up. So you get the idea. And then the bottom uh, layer is just basically another type of saw wave, super saw type of thing. So this is called super saw in my bank. It's uh, number 29. 
So all together it sounds like this. So it's little details like that that kind of make tracks a little bit more special, a little bit, uh, a little, a little bit more. I guess they flow better, I suppose. So I, I feel like a good producer kind of knows how to add in little undertone effects like this without taking anything away from the original part without it. So altogether, it sounds pretty cool. Without it, it actually sounds a little bit boring to me. So if I take this out, we just have the boring. 8 bar drum intro filtered thing so it sounds like this <laughs> And now with it, so I know this video, I didn't show you guys how to make any patches just because I figured uh, it's already for free on my Facebook, so if you really want it, there it is. If not, you kind of get the basics of what I'm saying on how to do this kind of stuff. And uh, the main the main point of the video, anyway, is to kind of start incorporating more undertone effects like like this. So obviously, I'm gonna add risers and snare rolls to other parts uh, later on, and, but I'm also gonna add these underneath those to kind of just give it more just to fill in more of the space that I need filled up. So, hopefully you guys like this. I have other tutorials today or tomorrow and new template either tonight or tomorrow morning on my website. Um, whatever the new thing, the new SoundCloud upload I have either today or tomorrow, that's basically the preview for the template. And thanks guys for watching and late.